Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. Graduation season is in full swing. Congratulations to all the new and soon to be graduates. That has to mean a lot of graduation parties, right? So here in this video, I'm going to share with you some fun and creative graduation party decoration ideas. Uh, I will mostly focus on the items that I used in a party that I threw last month, but there will be tons more. So let's get started. This video will have three parts, backdrop decor, food or dessert table decor, and front door decor. We love to take photos, whatever the occasion is. So a backdrop is a must. So let's first see how you can create a simple and cheerful backdrop for a graduation party. So this is the final look of the backdrop. I usually go for the black gold theme for graduation parties uh, that gives a vibrant, cheerful look. And obviously that's the traditional color theme for graduation celebration. So to achieve this, I started with creating a really wide backdrop stand. It's about 12 feet wide and eight feet high. I actually repurposed a freestanding closet to make this. I was living in a small apartment before moving to this house and I had ordered this closet from Timu. Uh, back then it was really useful, but now that I no longer need this, I actually use the sides of it to give them the shapes of a backdrop stand. The sides are basically white rods that I detached and then joined to form a new shape. So next I use two types of curtains, uh, the fabric sequin curtain, those uh, that are in the middle that I already had from a last year party. Uh, these are from Amazon. I also ordered a pair of gold tinsel foil to put on both sides and create a um, kind of shiny look. Whenever I create a backdrop, I always put a banner in the center. So at first I used this inflatable congress balloon from Dollar Tree, but it didn't really stand out well on the curtains. Uh, so I actually decided to use another banner that you will see later in the video. I also added a few cutouts to the tinsel foils. Uh, this added a new dimension to the backdrop, although they were really cheap. They came eight piece in a pack from Dollar Tree. To attach these cutouts, I applied double-sided tape to the back and then gently press them onto the foil curtains. As I said previously, I took down that congress balloon banner and hung a new one. I actually reused a lot of items from last year's party. So I already had this uh, banner in my stash and I think it went really well with the background color. Well, no backdrop is complete without balloons. So for this backdrop, I created a balloon arch. Um, well, more like a balloon column to keep on the right side. I will not show the process in much detail here. Uh, there are many other videos you can find from a quick search on YouTube. Uh, but basically, I first tied balloons in pairs and then I twisted two pairs together, creating sets of four balloons. Uh, then using a balloon strip, I vertically joined these groups until I achieved the desired height. I tied this column with the right side of the backdrop stand. As you can tell, this was not easy and it really messed with the tinsel foil. So I had to spend some additional time to make them look like before. Uh, 
Anyway, I didn't want to create a full art covering both sides with balloons because on the left side, I actually wanted to keep a smaller balloon column. Uh, so I just used three sets of grouped balloons and on the top I tied this different shaped balloon that said congrats Gret. Uh, this was so easy to make but that went really well with the overall look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Wanna see how it all turned out? Amazing! Here you are seeing some additional stuff like these lanterns in the front are from Dollar Tree. Uh, so is the Congrats Grad small sign. Uh, the D and R letter inflatable balloons are from Walmart. And the Congrats balloon that I decided not to use as a banner, I simply kept it in front of the balloon arch on the right. And obviously we created some very nice memories with this gorgeous backdrop. Let's talk about dessert table decorations. There has to be some sweet treats at every party, right? So for the dessert table, I usually make a few snack items, especially themed around graduation, and then I incorporate some tabletop decor items to elevate the overall aesthetic. I'm going to share some great ideas and tips for making these snacks and items, but first, allow me to offer you a sneak peek at the dessert table from my last party. First item, a fruit plate. You can use any fruit for this. I used a watermelon. So I cut the watermelon in star shape by using these cookie cutters from Walmart. I also added some red grapes in the plate. The gold plates that you will be seeing in this video, both round and the star shapes, they are um, actually all charger plates from Dollar Tree. Number two, graduated chocolates. <laughs> well, this is what I call them. As you can see, I used a Reese's miniature cup here because of their hat-like shape. Um, I cut small squares out of black craft papers and tinsel for the tassel. So you can use glue dots or tapes to attach the cap and the tassel on top of the chocolates. Uh, later in the video, I'll show another version of this item. Number three, cupcakes. Not really any DIY in here. Uh, I just bought assorted cupcakes from Walmart and I served them. So I actually put some graduation themed peaks on top of them that I bought from Dollar Tree. Number four, snack packs. I use these packs for popcorn, but you can serve other similar snacks like pretzel or chips. So to make this graduation themed, I actually found out graduation cardstock prints online and I simply printed them out in letter size papers. I cut each paper um, into four pieces to create one sort of uh, cone shaped packet. And it was real fun to do it with a friend. We made a few packets and served popcorn in this. That's not all my friends, I am going to share a few more ideas from another party I arranged last year. Here is a version 2 of the graduated chocolates. 
here I used Ferrero Rocher instead of Reese's. The nice thing about Ferrero Rocher is that they already have these round stickers that you can use to add as the tassel on the hat instead of glue dots or tape. Number five, graduated water. Same idea, cap and tassel, but on water bottles. Diploma wafers. So dollar store wafers get a graduation makeover with some blue ribbon. Easy peasy. Next, customized cupcakes or brownies with some black or gold picks. Another really easy one. A nice and easy way to customize any decoration is to add photos or quotes. For desert tables, I often print out graduation related quotes and you can find them online from a quick Google search. So Dollar Tree has this nice 8x10 frames that you can use to showcase these quotes. And then custom party supplies designed for specific events always enhance the look of your decoration. And you can buy them from Amazon or Walmart or even Timo. This is a quick look of the desert table from last year. Okay, my friends, as I promised, I will share ideas for additional tabletop decoration items as well. But if you have made it until now and found some inspirations, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm very new to this and you can really help my baby channel to grow. Let's continue. First tabletop decor is this light up tree. One of my friends gifted me this tree, so I already had this, but you can buy a similar one from Amazon. Or if you don't want a lead tree, you can use a tree branch from your yard or outside. So I just hung these decoration themed ornaments that I ordered from Timu. Uh, they are actually very cheap. You can get about 32 pieces with only about $3. Number two. Messengers that I filled with this gold color curly bows from Dollar Tree and cut out ornaments left over from the tree decor that I just showed you. I also added a battery powered fairy light for a touch of magic. And then I topped it off with the old but gold decor style, a graduation cap made from black paper and a tassel. Number three, photo cube made from Dollar Tree 5x7 frames that hold photos of your graduate. This will give a nice vibe of personalization to your whole decor. I also use this cube as a holder for the photo props. Four, which is another personalized item. You can cut foam boards to make marquee letters. You can create the letters to spell out the name of your graduate. For me, the whole name was too much, so I just made the D and R letters to spell uh, doctor, which was for a PhD graduate. Next, not really a tabletop decor, but another way of creating a small balloon column. So add eyes and smile to make the balloon look like a face and add cap and tassel. All right, we are not done yet. Number five is this chalkboard quotes. Uh, you can find small chalkboards in Dollar Tree and then spice them up with a custom graduation related quote. Last but not the least, decorate a vase with florals and add hat and tassel shaped cutouts. You can personalize this with your graduate's name on the hat or adding a congratulations card. So here are a few photos of the tables where I used these ideas. See how the easy decoration items can really change the look and vibe of your party. Alright, in this last part of the video, I will share the simple idea of decorating your front door for a graduation party. To show off our grad pride for super cheap, I decorated the front door with some awesome Dollar Tree finds. Everything you see here cost a total of 5 bucks only, which is pretty good, right? I just hung this banner, I added some grad cutouts on the door and kept these colorful yard signs on both sides. And done! Instant grad party vibes. all fun and affordable ideas to decorate for a graduation party. I hope you found some ideas that fit your party style and spark your creativity. So get creative, have fun 
and create some really unforgettable memories. Let me know in the comments below which item you like the most and if you have any party planning questions, don't hesitate to ask. And hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update from this creative wonderlust. Thank you.